Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am filming a swatch party video today. It's gonna be a quick one on the new Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. This is a limited edition palette and I just received mine in the mail. So we are of course gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys in case you are considering picking this palette up. Now if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I usually upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And if you do subscribe, I will show up in your subscription feed so you will get reminders to check out my new videos. Anyway, without further blabbering, let's get into this box. I am so excited that it is here and I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can see the swatches better. Okay guys, we're about to get really up close and personal. Hope you guys can see a lot better now. I actually used to film with my camera quite a bit away from me when I did all my previous swatch videos. So I actually invested in a TV tray size table so that my camera can sit a little bit closer to me. So hopefully this will go well and you guys will be able to see things more clearly. Now I literally just got this box in the mail. So I'm so excited. This is what they pack all their boxes like. They're very secure, lots of packing peanuts. And of course it's wrapped in some foamy paper. This is what the palette looks like. This is the box, very, very pretty, typical Juvia's Place. It says on the back here, spice up your eyes. Introducing the uber pigmented hot and spicy Saharan 2. Inspired by the rich colors in Moroccan spices, herbs, and rich patterns and one of a kind heirloom of the Moroccan people. Saharan 2 consists of a beautiful blend of matte and shimmer textures that will transform you into a real goddess. So on the back also it says it's cruelty free distributed by Juvia's Place New Jersey designed and formulated in the U US and then this is manufactured in the People's Republic of China. The net weight of this palette is 32.4 grams which is quite a bit of product and the shelf life is also on the back here which is 12 months. So this is what the packaging looks like. I like the color palette they chose with the purple and yellow. If you guys are from North Dakota, Minnesota, there's a lot of Vikings fans. So I'm sure they'll really appreciate that they chose these colors. Now, I do want to show you guys quite a bit of the Saharan collection already. Of course, I have the Saharan eyeshadow palette. This is the first one. And this is what it looks like. This is honestly one of my favorite Juvia's Place palettes. I really like the colors in this palette. I thought it was so unique and innovative when I first got it. I think this launched at the beginning of this year. Then they came out with the two blush palettes. So this is volume one, which is for deeper skin tones. And I like to use this as eyeshadow as well. I will show you guys. I did a first impressions video on these two palettes. I'll link it up in the cards. And then this is the volume two, which is more for lighter toned girls. Honestly, I'm contemplating getting rid of pretty much all of my blushes because I don't really need anything else apart from this. But yeah, I love Juvia's Place, guys. And I keep promising you I will someday do a full review on all of my Juvia's Place palettes. This is what the inside looks like if you haven't seen it. This is cardboard packaging, but it's very sturdy. I can definitely see the Moroccan influence right here in this pattern. This is what the shades look like. It does come with this protective cover. Uh oh, which just stabbed one of my shades, but that's okay. It happens, not a big deal. So here is a close up of the palette, just to let you know about this a little bit. Now the pre-order happened on October the 7th, so that's when I ordered this. And at the time I ordered it, it was $17.50. I used the Trend Mood 10% off code, so then the palette was $15.75. Shipping is $4.16, so I paid a total of $19.91 for this palette and it arrived today, which is 10-16, which is the day I'm filming this video. I did look, this palette is available on juviusplace.com right now. I will go ahead and link it down below, but I see that it is on sale for $21.50. So I don't know if because I did the pre-order, I got a better deal. That's something you guys are gonna have to do some investigating on yourselves, but uh, yeah, that's the price I paid for it. And right now it's $21.50. So anyway, super excited. So let's get into these swatches. I am just going to swatch the front of my hand right here. There are nine shades in this palette. Here are the finger swatches of the first three shades. I am so excited. Look at this. Oh my god. Okay, so the names for these are, we have Marrakesh, we have Aziza, and Hadia. 
gorgeous, super pigmented, definitely feels very dimethicone-y, but I love that. I love when shadows are super, super pigmented and feel really foily. Okay, so the next set of shades are kind of the blues, so that's what they look like. This is insane. I can't believe the pigmentation of these palettes. Holy crap. Okay, so the first shade is called Beber. B-E-R-B-E-R, -E -E I don't know. Next shade is Nomad, and Nomad is honestly a beautiful duochrome shade. It's got that shift of like yellow orange. So pretty. I've been playing with the Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadow palettes, and honestly, those palettes, a lot of the duochromes are crazy, kind of like this. So if you can't quite afford the Pat McGrath palettes, I would maybe recommend checking this out just based on this one shade, which is gorgeous. And then the last shade, that icy blue shade, is called, I can't even say it, it's like Shefa Nguyen. I'll have to put the name up on the screen for you guys. All of these shades are shimmers, and then the last row are some really beautiful pigmented mattes, so let me go ahead and swatch those for you. Okay, so these are the three mattes. Now these definitely remind me of spices. I come from a country that is full of flavor and spices in their cooking, so these definitely, you know, remind me of spices that are used in cooking. So let me go ahead and swatch, swatch, swatch. Ooh la la, look at those mattes. We have Fez, we have Zora, and we have Taza. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. I can't wait to play with this palette and put these shades on my eyes. Hopefully you guys are getting a really good look at these swatches, guys. I've had a few, I've had a few haters on the channel recently with my Pat McGrath video. I had talked about how there weren't a lot of swatch videos on the internet, especially at the time I got my palettes. So it was bringing in a lot of new viewers and a lot of people were hating on my swatches, so I'm trying. I bought you guys in closer, so hopefully you can see them. But honestly, guys, I don't want to keep holding up my hand because I feel like if you want to get a good look at these, you can always pause the video and check it out. I assume most people watch YouTube videos on their phone, so it's pretty easy to, you know, pause the video and check them out. But I really like to, you know, not have me go on and on and on with the swatches because I get really bored when I'm watching swatch videos like I don't really need you to swatch them with a brush and swatch them with your finger and do the whole color switch thing like I I feel like this gives you a general idea of what these shadows are going to look like if you swatch them on my skin tone so anyway enough of that I hope you guys enjoyed this swatch video let me know down in the comments if you are planning on picking this palette up Personally, first impressions just from swatching. I think this is another, you know, hit from Juvia's Place. I was really hesitant to buy this palette personally because, like, I didn't think I would use these blue shades. But if you guys have been eyeing the Natasha Denona Aries palette, I think this is going to be a really good dupe for the Aries palette. It's like one third the price and you get extra shades. And I honestly like the Juvia's Place formula better than the Natasha Denona palette. So, Something to keep in mind. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.